the old head wound heals. But that's from the original wound there. This is just from sleeping on it, but that's the original wound left there. So 6.30 in the morning, I get woken up by someone throwing a fucking rock at my fucking head. There's blood everywhere. Oh my fucking god! I just drove my on a bike and threw a rock at my fucking head! You fucking people. Oh my fucking god! I got it. He's got it. He's got it. No, I didn't. This guy ran off on a bike. I didn't see him. No cameras. No cameras at all. I don't even know what he hit me with. It could still be in my fucking head for all I know. I don't even know. I don't know what he hit me with. I don't even see it. It was a rock, I guess. It felt like a rock. Yeah, we were sleeping. A R O N S O N. Seth Aronson. A R O N S O N. Wave them down so they can see what you mean. Okay. Huh? I see you. See us? Wave them down so he doesn't go by. Well, That's what I mean. Go get him. Fucking believe that's just a random fucking bum. I'll take care of all this, don't worry about it. You're not gonna be able to move all this shit by yourself. Just go around in this area, don't trip. Just go to the hospital and get taken care of. Don't worry about me. Guy again. Great. <laughs> Has the cops been here yet? Wow. They, ha they have not. That's right. That's right. Hello, sir. My name's Sam. I'm from Fairbank. Insert. What's your name? For Seth. Seth. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, someone threw a rock at my head, okay. and now I'm bleeding from okay. the head. Right here. here. Right right here. Okay. Were you standing when it happened? I was sleeping when it happened. Okay. And then you just felt the rock hit your head? Did you lose consciousness at any time? No, I ran down okay. the street after him. All right. But... Do me a favor. Look down that way so I can see it. All right. Yeah. You're going to need some stitches for sure, okay? Do you have any medical history? Any medical problems? Uh, no. Okay. Any alcohol or drugs in the past? No. Okay. Do you have any allergies or medications? Uh, penicillin and sulfur okay. drugs. 
So uh, I'm going to help you stand up and we'll go over and get to the I back of the car. Okay. So you're taking me into the hospital? Yeah, because yes. you're going to need some stitches for sure, at the very least, okay? You're fucking kidding me. I don't trust leaving her here with him. PD's going to be coming by shortly. Yeah, I'm not go going anywhere until the police get here. Well, we can still go in the back of the ambulance. We won't leave until Yeah, we'll just have you take here. a seat. They're well, let me pack up my well, stuff while they're getting... I'm fine. I'm packing up while the cops get here. So we don't have a whole lot of room in the back there. Yeah. Well, I'm he's not taking this. Not taking okay. all of this. Okay. I'm just taking Take the good essentials and we'll be good. I still want to know the fucking rock is. I don't know if it was glass. I feel like I stepped on something. Glass? You think it was glass? I don't know. Be careful. No, I was assuming there was those rocks. No, these are my rocks. Colored rocks are here. Still not sure what the object was, but I'm pretty sure I knew who the fuck threw it. You do? Joke. Say I'm imagining that he threw something at me. Uh, I don't think you are. Oh, good. I don't think you are. I'm not going to believe the second part of the story, but at least I'll believe that part. Well, I tell you, if I was standing with the sign that said, hungry, those cops would have been here a lot earlier than this. That's for sure. They'd already be here. anything except there was someone on a bike. I did not see, see the person.
the actual oh, site feels like someone threw a rock at it and it's bleeding. So, so give it I don't a five. know, seven, I guess. Mm -hmm. Five, ten, seventy-two. Five, ten, seventy-two. Five, ten, seventy-two. Seth, S-E-T-H. A-R-O-N-S-O-N. Mm -hmm. Do you want this in your bag? Yeah. A-R-O-N-S-O-N. -S -O -N. Socks. If nothing else, I get free socks. Thanks, guy with rock. Awesome. Hold the tarp up and I'll just sit here until you came back. Let me load, yeah. It's now been 15 minutes and the police still aren't here. Well, Big surprise. Hold this up. Yeah. Sorry. Because after that, then I'm done. Say act natural. It was inside just because like pressure was Yeah, gotta get a close up here. Can you can you move here and point to where it hurts the most? Okay. We're hit with the rock. Stay right there. Can you pull the hair back behind the ear just a little bit? Oh, it wants a glamour stuck. shot. It, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty stuck now. Yeah. No, that's what I wanted to get was just how much blood there is in the hair. Oh, okay. You get the blood running down the neck? Yeah. No other injury, right? Just the head? Want another one like this? <laughs> the thinking man. No other injuries though, right? No. That's okay. yeah. what's, your, um, what's your pain tolerance right now? One to ten, really. Uh, it's usually a five until someone asks me that question, and then it's a seven because I think about it. <laughs> Understood. Do you um, work with my partner and I here? I've just given us a synopsis of what happened. Absolutely. Come on, yeah, five minutes. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll take those off the top. Okay. Stuff in this room. Thank you. Just real quick, what happened this morning? Woke up and someone threw a rock in my head. You didn't know who it was? I didn't see him. I just saw a blurry figure riding away on a bike that I chased for three blocks until he turned down an alley and I couldn't catch it. Did it wake you up when he threw it at you? Yeah, or, that's what I woke up with by the rock. Okay. The rock, the rock woke me. Were you chasing him north or south? Or? Uh, whichever way away from the beach. So I guess that's east. So east, go, east down, on Garnet. Garnet. Yeah. Where were you? When you uh, were sleeping? Right at that spot where they picked us up. By, okay, so I don't remember the. It was like we were headed Garnet. Yeah. Some store right there. You were with your daughter. Yeah. Did she see anything? No. We were both sleeping. It was six thirty in the morning. When you were chasing him, did you see what color shirt he had? I didn't see anything. I saw a blurry bike up ahead that I never caught up to. Do you know what color the bike was? I don't know anything except that there's a guy on a bike. Were you pretty sure it was a male? I know it was a male. Oh. That, that much I could see, but I couldn't. I wouldn't. 
no way anything else. I wear glasses and I didn't have time to put them on. No worries. Just let them know we got the pictures. Yeah. So he just kept riding the bike and just started running? Yeah. And then he, I believe he turned. I, I got a, didn't, you know, took a minute to realize what was going on, so I never got really that close to him. Yeah. But he turned? To, I believe right around the mad beat, he turned right either in an alley or, or something. At that point, I just lost. He just wasn't in front of me anymore, so I just turned around. It looked like he turned. Six one nine eight zero seven zero one nine two. Do you have a mailing address? Yeah, but I can't remember it exactly. Hold on. It's the third ambulance ride in three days. Um, yesterday, I had to take my daughter to the hospital because the undercover cop she's dating started calling her Mamas. Mamas is the name of our dead missing cat. And the undercover cops that have been fucking with us for the past 10 years have abused the fact that she has multiple personality disorder by inserting a new personality called Mamas. And when they put her into Mamas, she thinks there's something in her stomach that she has to get out. So the last two nights, she came to this hospital in an ambulance because her boyfriend started calling her Mamas on the phone, and she spent the next six hours throwing up and screaming hysterically. Now... This was not, he didn't invent mamas. The guy she was dating before in Lancaster invented mamas. Mm -hmm. And they use this, they can, the last time they did this was last July 4th. They think I'm gonna do a terrorist attack on July 4th. So right before July 4th, yes. Well, you're gonna have to ask them that since I've pretty much cleared the fact that I'm not gonna do, no matter how hard the FBI tries to make me a terrorist, I keep refusing to be one. But they keep fucking with us. So the last two nights, they fucked with us by having her boyfriend call from jail. Start, he always calls her baby, but now he calls her mamas. And then she spends the next six hours throwing up, screaming it hysterically, it's worse than labor pains is what they told her. So she thinks there's something in her stomach that's worse than labor pains, and there's no way to get rid of it. There's a doctor here, I have a, phone t a taped phone conversation with him, where he admitted to me that the only rational explanation for a patient who comes in screaming hysterically, throwing up hysterically, then they sedate her, she wakes up and she's fine. She's like, I'm hungry, I want a cigarette, let me get out of here. There's no medical reason why she would do that. So the only thing that makes sense is what I said, that she was put into a hypnotic, post-hypnotic suggestion, and that she was believed that she was sick. She wasn't. Mama's is not one of her original personalities. Mama's is one of the personalities that Josh, John, Johnny, Joe, Carlos, and now Jace all work together to destroy them. Well, one of them isn't, am I being too loud? No worries. I'll bring the camera a little closer. So the first guys were DEA agents up in Lancaster. The current one, Jace, she met in Lancaster, but he's been dating her ever since. I have three different videos of him physically attacking me. I have despite the fact that he had warrants and I called 911 because he was, she called hysterically. She had a black eye. Police went to the residence. He had a warrant and they wouldn't arrest him. Does that sound normal to you? It doesn't sound normal to me. You know how many times that happened? That week, three. Three nights in a row, after he ran me out of the house by physically attacking me, she would call me hysterically. I would call 911. They would get there. She had a black eye. And they left. No problem. I can't this get this guy arrested. What's that? That was, back where before. that was in Lancaster. Can't get this guy arrested for my life. Come to San Diego, when it's very inconvenient for me, he's riding a bike without a light on it. Woo, woo, San Diego police, take him away. Now I'm stuck with my mentally disabled daughter, and he's gone. 
Isn't that what you wanted? You wanted him arrested, right? Last year, yeah. But now that he's taking care of her and on the streets, and I have no way to take care of her, now they come get him because of a headlight. So now he goes to jail, and then it's her and I. So, because of the warrant. So then they, they released him, and he came back. And then about, about I guess it's three weeks ago now, he decided at three in the morning he wanted to go to Ralph's for food. She said, don't go take that bike to Ralph's, you'll get arrested. Same exact spot. Boo! San Diego police. Take him away. So now he calls from jail, and he calls from jail, baby, baby, for a week and a half. But three days ago, he calls from jail and starts calling her mamas. She gets off the phone with him and starts throwing up. The next day, she gets out of the hospital. She's fine. He calls her from the phone rings. It's the jail. He calls her mamas. She starts throwing up. Her eyes roll back in her head. Okay, She's in a hypnotic trance believing she's sick for hours. She throws up everywhere. She screams bloody murder for hours. They take her in here. They sit, she screams at all the nurses. They don't know what's wrong with her. They do tests. They show there's nothing wrong with her internally. She wakes up. I want a cigarette. I want to go home. I feel fine. There's no medical thing that would do that. But since I've caught him hypnotizing her in Lancaster, I saw him snap his fingers. She did this. She slowly wakes up. What do I do? He said, go to sleep. OK. And she laid down and go to sleep. That's hypnosis. Mm -hmm. and the, like it. Yeah. And the fact that it's the exact same, he uses the same methods that these guys that she was with before who supposedly have no connection to him, how do they all know the same exact hypnosis, hypnosis suggestions to get her to, to be sick? Sound a little weird, huh? So I talked to Lieutenant Fender, Lieutenant Fender at the uh, Lancaster Sheriff's Department. He promised to start an investigation. He even gave me a case number. Mm -hmm. I never got called. They never invested. Because one of those undercover cops raped her. My daughter's been raped twice, twice by undercover cops. And guess what? I still am not a terrorist, no matter how hard they try. Here I am, turning the other cheek. Mm -hmm. Today, they threw a fucking rock at my head. You don't know who it was, though? I know it was an undercover cop, but I don't know which one. Okay. They used my own, we keep rocks laying next to us for, for protection. Mm -hmm. So what he did was, he got off his bike while we were sleeping. He came over and took one of the rocks while we were sleeping went back to his bike, and then he came by on the bike and threw it at my head. But I'm sure that has nothing to do with the fact that this constant harassment has gone on for 10 years and has been escalating clearly for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. I have a video of San Diego police officers fucking with us five times in 48 hours. That was just this past week. And then my daughter came to this hospital the last two nights mm -hmm. because her boyfriend in jail called her the name that makes her think she's sick. And then this morning, I wake up with a rock to the head. But I'm sure it was just a random incident. So that's the long version. I hope it'll be investigated, but I know better. Yeah, I think he needs that side because it's where the... Is that going to be another officer that comes over here that gives you the case number for what we're doing investigative-wise? Cool. We're just going to put everything together. We got you with that. Cool. Do you have any questions for us in the meantime? Yeah, let me uh, write this down. A Patriot Acted, one word, dot blogspot, dot com. That's where I've been documenting the police harassment that's gone on for the last 10 years. Do you know, what's your daughter's name right now? Well, he's got many names. Uh, one of them is Jace. J A C E. Uh, Keeler, K E E L E R. He's in custody right now. He's theoretically in custody, but I know he's actually on vacation because one of the things that I hate, one of the things they do to try to make me a terrorist is. That's still on? Good. It's off? Can you put it back on, please? So, one of the things they do to try to make me in a terrorist is the undercover cop gets her to do meth because they know that fucking pisses me off. So for the past year, even though she begs him to stop, Jace has been doing meth. My daughter's got down to the weight she was when she was in junior high school. So he, while ostensibly in jail, he is now no 
doubt the EA agents, after they're on meth for a year, they get a vacation where they get to go home and eat and rest and occasionally make a phone call to make my daughter throw up. So that's where he is now. I mean, he's supposedly in the Twin Towers uh, in Los Angeles, but I think we all know better. Swindell, S-W-I-N-D-E-L-L. We're not blood relatives. I was engaged to her mother who died nine years ago. What other names does Jace go by? Well, uh, apparently his legal first name is Brent. Same last name? Yes. But for some reason, right now, uh, in the L.A. County lookup, uh, he's listed as Robert Keeler. And his street name is Youngster. And the day before I met him, his best friend, I was sleeping alone on, uh, in the DMV parking lot in Lancaster. The night before he met my daughter, his best friend came up while I was sleeping stole my backpack and my suitcase from right next to where I was sleeping. Everything, my wallet, my cell phone, my dead fiance's keychain, my glasses, everything's missing, okay? The next day I go to a homeless shower and there's a girl wearing one of my hats. And I say, hey, that's my hat. And the boyfriend she's with gets in my face and goes, it's not your hat, who the fuck do you think you are? Later that day, total end of town, that guy meets my daughter. And he's been dating her ever since. So the day after his best friend stole everything I own, he becomes my daughter's boyfriend. I have three incidents of him physically attacking me. You'd like to see those videos? They're great. Just randomly. Once was, what's that? Uh, I tried, but like I said, it was uh, Kern County. I couldn't get them to arrest me. I showed them video of him attacking me. I, he had a warrant, and my daughter had a black eye, and they wouldn't take him in. So that's now three counties, Kern County, L.A. County, and San Diego County that are all participating in trying to make me a terrorist. But guess what? I turn the other cheek. Ten years. You're welcome. Oh, sorry. I can't really see because it takes it too much light. I don't know, did I get it all off? Yeah, just about. A little bit more on the top of the front there. A little bit down? Good. Excellent. Good. Got it. The cops took the rock as evidence, but uh, they made me point to clean up my bloody napkins. Bloody, bloody napkins. Bandage on. Bandage off! Bandage on. Bandage off! I'm finding my wound. Oh, yeah. It's pretty bad. I'm finding my wound. Oh, yeah. It's pretty bad. I'm finding my wound. Oh,